Hello guys and welcome to Paint With Mark. You've just caught me setting up um, to create a nice beautiful seascape picture. So grab your tools, your brushes and I'll just go over the, the colours we're going to use in today. So we're going to be using phalo blue, black, lizard and crimson, dark sienna, van dyke brown, cadmium yellow, a little bit of a phthalo green and some cadmium white. And the brushes I'm probably going to be using today is a filbert brush, a two inch landscape brush, a one inch brush, a fan brush and a liner brush. So basically what I've got prepared today is I think it's about a, a 16, 16 by 20 canvas and what I've done is I've black gessoed, actually it's a bald bit of bald um, and what I've done is I've black gessoed using black gesso let's so we'll find some I'll we'll use some Bob Ross black gesso paint um, to do that and I've gone over the whole surface twice, let it dry and I've just put a bit of masking tape just above centre so what I did for that is I just got a pencil and I just put it up there, marked it both sides and run a bit of tape across there just to get a nice stroke edge. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some phalo blue and black along the top and along the bottom I just do a little band of phalo green and black. So with that said, let's get started. So I'm going to use the, actually I think I'll have a cup of, sip of cup of tea first, uh, you can't beat a, a cup of tea. Give you a chance to get all your tools out ready. There we go, that's lovely. So what I'm going to do is go into some phalo blue, pull down some phalo blue and a little bit of black. Mix those together and I'm just going to do crisscross on the canvas. Now you probably won't see this on the video too much um, but don't panic. Um, I've also applied before I put this colour on I actually applied a little bit of linseed oil on the whole canvas just to make it a little bit slippery to stop it sucking into the board so quickly but you probably won't have so much problem as what I will have this is probably going to dry much quicker on this board but we'll give it a go and see what happens it's all about learning curve and giving things a try you know you must give all these things a try so it looks like the video is picking it up nicely so I'm just going to quickly crisscross this in here just making sure that the whole canvas is coated again when you do yours you're going to have a lot more time I'm just cracking on with this so you can see getting done And when I've got on there, I'm just going to sort of do long strokes backwards and forwards just to make sure it's all got a nice, even, thin coat of oil paint on there. Take out any hairs. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom and just do exactly the same. So I'm going to go into the phalo blue and black. Uh, I'm going to leave a couple of inch gap between this line here. So a line about there, something like because I want to put some phalo green in that part because I'm going to have a nice wave there. So basically, I'm just going to get some more black with that. Just crisscross this in nice and quick. Again, you know, you could use a two inch brush, two inch brush where you're doing this if you want to, it speed it up a bit, but. I've been using this one because I've got this one handy. And so I'm just going to use this. 
get it put in there. Just crisscross strokes. Like I said, you could paint this on with a roller. You know, you could roll it on it. It doesn't really matter, really. But just to get the canvas nice and covered. And then I'm going to do my crisscross cross strokes and then lines backwards and forwards and then I'm just going to get a little bit of tissue paper a little bit of tissue paper and I'm just going to squeeze the brush and wiggle brush into the tissue paper just to remove excess just to remove the excess paint then I go into the bit of the phalo green and a bit of the blacky bluey mix. Okay, so but more green, and I'm just going to run this along here, along this line. And I'm mixing it in with the bluey as well. So it's just a mainly along this line here. Just so a little bit of green, it just add a bit to the to the wave. So I crisscross across there. Putting out any hairs, which I might have. Always seem to get some hairs come out of these brushes, no matter how good they are. Oops. So I picked up a little bit of a white there. But we'll deal with that. So backwards and forwards, quick cross, and so the whole looks covered. So I've covered it all top and bottom. Just go over it all the whole lot, backwards and forwards. And there we are. And put your, your brush down. Have another slip of tea. Cheers everybody. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna sort of do so some clouds all up in here, but I want it like a, a stormy um, sky. But I want to leave some dark below it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into we'll use a two-inch brush. I'm just going to go into some white. I'm just going to tap a, a line here, like so, and uh, it's going to be lovely and white. Obviously, you've got this lovely white, and it's going to mix in with the colour behind it. Um, but I want this to be the brightest area, so I'm just going to pull down, like so, pull this down here. Right, it's lovely lining. You see the way it's mixing in with the blue and it gets really bright. And then without putting any more colour on here, I'm just gonna very lightly crisscross here. Take it out this way. Very lightly, just so we get some of this colour on here, all the way along. Very, I'm, I'm applying very light pressure. Very light pressure. Okay, now I'm just going to put a bit more white on there because I want to make sure that this part here is really bright and it's pulling down and out. Like that. So I'm really pulling this down this way. So, and then just very lightly feather this across. Okay, so that's that part done. I'm not going to worry too much more about that. That's a bit more down there. That's a nice, beautiful sky. I'm going to do a few clouds up here, and I'm going to use the fan brush. I'm going to insist some white. 
put it both ways and I'm just going to, with the very tip and corner, I'm just going to do some circular movements like so and I may do another one here, again you can put it one way and another way and again it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pick up the blue and that's fine but each time you do that you want to just get a bit of tissue paper and just wipe it or squeeze it between some tissue paper to get just the excess of the blue off and then go back into the white and I'm going to have a big one coming this way down here got some more colour and I'm just doing little circular moments and then at the end I do like a, a little line coming down there so I want this dark line up here um, but I'm going to do a few of these so I'm going to do another one and again wipe the brush to get the excess off a bit more white and I'll go back over any of these I want it a little bit darker and so on and a bit bigger I think yeah. yeah I'm happy with that yeah so once I've done that part I'll put my brush down and I'll get another brush or clean your two inch brush and I'm just going to get another clean brush and just using the very tip I'm just going to tap the bottoms of these clouds just to soften these clouds so all I'm doing is little I call it little C movements I'm not trying to leave the top edge I'm not trying to go over the top edge so I leave the top edge by just sort of tapping the bottom edge and again you can do it this way you can do it right to left left to right it doesn't matter it's a preference whatever you feel happy with really and again this is blending in now softening these clouds down we don't want to make them too overpowering and what I do is just using the very tips of the bristles I'll brush up very very lightly and then I'll go across which just sits the clouds down that line there just sits it all back across like so okay might do a little bit up there I'm just gonna just rock backwards and forwards just to get a little bit of colour in these little spots here just in there that little gap there and then very lightly I'm just going to go across so it looks like it's very it's like rain and all coming from underneath these clouds up here this is like woof this is all coming straight down here so it's like rain and heavy all through here stormy very stormy so I'm happy with that so that part is really easy for you to do um, and then I'm going to just take off this line here take off our tape it gives us a lovely straight horizon line and I'm going to go back into my one inch brush it has got the blue and black on I'll just put a little bit more on there as so I just want to go over this line because obviously there's nothing on so I'm just going to wiggle this along up to our horizon line just so there's colour on there being careful obviously not to go over too much of the uh, the bluey and the, the sky that you've just done uh, but it will it will go sometimes it, it feels a bit awkward because it's dry um, because we haven't got any medium on there either but it will go we have to go over it a few times I'm just sort of taking it up to this line yeah that 
do nicely, that would do. Lovely. Okay, that's pretty easy. So that's the first part done. So now I'm going to think about doing a lovely wave. So this this technical ways of doing it, I usually like to do three lines, um, which would be the top line, the middle line, and the bottom line. But this I want to make this nice and easy for you guys. So basically, all we're going to do is I'm going to get a filbert brush. I'm going to go into some white. I'm going to push it one way and the other way, really pressing in quite a bit of colour on the white and decide where I'm going to have the wave. Now, if you remember, I put a band of green in there, so it'd be nice if the actual big part of the wave was where this green area is in here. So basically that means that set it slightly off centre, the, big, the biggest part. If this is my centre, so I'm going to set it over to about here. So my biggest part will be around this sort of area here. Okay, so I know that that's where the, the, the actual curl of the wave is going to be. So from there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to touch, I'm just going to pull this down, up, along, up, and out. Okay, and this will continue on. I'm just going to get wipe my brush, just to get rid of the excess paint, pick up a bit, bit more white, and I'll continue that along. But I just know that that's going to be the actual wave, the curl part of the, of the actual wave. And I'm just going to continue this along, and it's going to come down, and it's going to come up something like so. So that gets the main line and I'm just going to put some more paint on there. There's one quite a bit of paint on this guys and you'll see why in a moment because I want to make this nice and simple for you to follow. I want anyone to be able to do this on it really bright and stand out. So put the brush down now and we're going to go back into a fan brush and I'm just going to wipe my fan brush into a little bit of tissue so you know basically like I said I just did a line just wave it a little bit and then curl it this way and this way you know that the, the curl is going to be there so I've got me fan brush I'm going to go into some just white pure white this is put it one way and put it the other way and one way and the other way now, I want this to be the brightest part here because obviously this is where the, the rains will come in. So this part here is where we're going to start from and I'm going to work outwards. I'm going to hold the brush straight, like so, and I'm going to do little rocking movements, backwards and forwards, little tiny rocking movements. So I'm actually going to start on the horizon and holding this pretty straight on, backwards and forwards, I'm going to do little tiny rocking movements. Little tiny rocking move. And this adds movement to the water. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of blue in there because it's gone just a little bit white. So I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of blue in there. So, little tiny rocking movements, and I'm just working out now from the edge. Okay, backwards and forwards. And where you go over, where you crisscross over, You'll create these little troughs of dark, um, which is what we're looking for. So we don't don't kill it. So again, we're going to start here. Little tiny movements, backwards and forwards. So come right out to the edge here. Backwards and forwards. I'm going to start at the top here. Cross some over, but leaving some dark patches. Go right up to the horizon. Like so. Very soft. Don't push too hard. That's the main thing, don't push too hard. So we've got some movement in the water going on. Okay, now second part of the do, we're gonna put the next part of the waves in there. So we're going to use the same fan brush and I'm going to pull it through some colour, pull it one way and another way. And I'm going to think about, I'm going to put another way, I'm going to put two more waves here. So basically, same sort of thing, I'm going to come down here, pull it down, turn the brush over if I run out of paint, 
and I'm going to take that around the back of there, go back into some more colour, and I'll have that coming out this side, slight wiggle. So obviously if that is this wave here, I'm going. I'm going to put some more detail in in a second. So now I'm going to come back into the white and making sure this is more feathered, more pointed this time and pressing lighter so it's thinner I'm going to do another one back here in between these bits that we've done again I'm going to bring this down bit of movement and out okay so we've done those parts now the easy way to do this wave is by moving this colour backwards I'm going to move it all tilt it backwards okay now I'm going to load my brush again and then I'm going to wipe it and the only reason I loaded it was just to make it a sort of more of a chiselled edge okay now I'm going to apply hardly any pressure and I'm going to start with this one and basically all I'm going to do I'm just going to lightly move this white backwards like so just moving this white backwards so taking it from here and moving it actually backwards that's all I'm doing um, I'm going to follow this so I'm just using this third one back that we did and I'm just moving this colour backwards And this is softening it up and here and there I'm just going to very lightly I'm just going to brush over this just so it softens this a little bit because I don't want this too harsh too harsh lines but I don't want to kill all the darks off completely but I just want to go over it a bit more just to make it a little bit more subtle so very lightly I'll go back over this making sure that this is brush out. Now don't worry we're gonna I'm gonna highlight this more but this is just the first step as what we want to achieve. So again I'm gonna get my brush I'm gonna go back into the white pressing hard and then I'm gonna to come to this one here and again make sure that I'm gonna try and emphasize this more for you so you can see the movement so I'm, I'm actually getting this so as this comes up, I'm taking this and I'm taking it back. So you're rocking it back, lifting it up, back into the one behind. Now, but when I'm doing this, what I'm making sure I'm doing is I'm leaving the dark. There will be a dark ridge left. Okay, and that's important to leave the dark ridge. So I'm moving this back, just sweeping this kind of back, but I want to keep this dark. Okay, so I'm moving this back, but you notice I'll always keep this dark colour in there. That creates the depth and the movement, the troughs of the water. So I'm just moving this back again, like okay, oh, moving backwards, moving sort of up. So I'm just moving them up, back and upwards all the time, back and upwards. Again. Okay leaving this dark all the time so, so not, don't lift it up too much okay otherwise if you do you'll, you'll, you'll spoil the effect okay and then again I'm going to wipe the brush this time with a bit of tissue and squeeze it just to get too much of that blue out I'm going to go back into the white now what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a bit more colour on here so I'm going to get the white on my fan brush and I'm just going to go back over this line again so from here just go over this going to make sure I've got lots of colour on here it's nice and then again I'm going to go and wipe it between a bit of tissue paper squeeze that out great and then I can use that 
that's on there to do exactly the same and move it backwards. So I'll start from here. I like to start on one of the, the curls. So you know, I start on here and I just lift it, start lifting it back. All sweeping backwards. All sweeps back up. So, so it sweeps down and up into the trough. Like so. So obviously as this gets closer the 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 wider wider bits and they become thinner as they go more into horizon so I purposely when I did this one I came down lower so that creates a bigger wave or a bigger trough so okay just pulling this down taking this up and lifting it up into the one behind very light pressure I'm just lifting this up come up here do exactly the same this part here don't lose it all it's important not to lose the whole lot so I'm just pulling it up to there it takes it into there so you can see that this is taking it up into that part there so it looks like you've got lots of movement already which uh, I love okay so that's that part done and what I will do now well, while we've creating these waves I'm just gonna get my liner brush your liner brush and I'm gonna go into some white and back into some thinners some white spin it around I'll just get my little pot of spinners so I just want to make this like a, a creamy watery mix a bit like ink consistency I'm just going to spin the brush round so quite wet and thin that's what I want but we need to get make sure there's colour in there as well I'm just spinning it around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and I like to hold the liner brush at the end so there's less pressure and I'm just going to go over just an edge of this very lightly Actually, I'll start from here so the, so the lightest point is on here just very lightly just let it rock and let it move about spin it around and when it runs out go back into some more colour just want to create this edge standing out a bit more even though we haven't done this front part of it I just want to put this on there now just so you can see hopefully what is happening so you've got a nice bright edge and this here we're just going to, I'm just going to come over here so you can see that this is a little bit more thinner if it doesn't go well just add a little bit more thinner and just going to move this around it's good if you've got shaky hands because uh, it makes it more realistic and while I've got the brush it's just more thinner I'm just going to add a few I'm going to spin this around pull this down and I'm just going to add a few more onto these like so they come down and that creates more with this dark and then you've got this light top it makes them really pop and stand out which is what we're looking for and again wiggle this about don't keep it not a straight line wiggle it around it will pay you dividends it really will like so and a bit more thinner now as I, as I go to the back as I work backwards I'll apply less pressure because we don't want so thick lines and I won't pull them all out so I'm just going to pull a little few out here so they stand out a couple out there and I'll pull that down into there a little bit more perhaps this little piece here I'll look at my picture and I'll just start picking out a few of the highlights on some of these okay, I don't do, do every one a few of these would be nice so they're just sort of cracking out and as I go back I'll just do a few little lines here and there 
just to pick out a few of these soft parts that's out in the distance but the main thing is to get these ones in here okay and I may also put a few little I call it like lightning lines um, which is a bit like a tree imagine doing a tree the limbs but I do that as if that's in the water so follow the shape of the wave coming down and I may do a few little lines coming down like so like this I'll run this away like so a few little lightning lines that come down like this just a few so we've got a few little lines coming down I'll do this one in a minute um, actually I might as well put it in there so while it's thin I will just follow the shape of this so from here and say there may be a few of these lines coming down like so and there may be a, you know, a few of these lines coming off like this they're like I call them like lightning lines again don't put too many just a couple like so just it adds more realism to the wave itself okay so I put my brush down I go back into my filbert brush it's got some white on there so I press this white and I pick out a little bit of cadmium yellow so I squash some cad yellow and some white cad yellow and some white and then I'm going to do the, the, the eye and I usually hold the brush like so and I'm just going to do a circular movement around here I turn my brush around and I'm just doing a circular movement remember that line that came around there I'm just following that line around like that I'm just going to put a bit in there and then I'm just going to follow this down here okay using the same brush little circular movements all around here just underneath the, the top of the wave and just as the colour comes off that's fine just let the colour come off so I'm just doing little circular movements all down here and let it fade fade to nothing down there okay so I'm going to wipe the brush bit of tissue, squeeze the filbert brush between a bit of tissue and I'm going to go into some more of the yellow and the white okay and then I'm going to go back on here and go back over it and I'm just trying to lighten it up a bit a bit more I want it really bright and each time I do this I will wipe brush and a bit more yellowy so it really does stand out for you on the video and where I did put the phthalo green on there it's going to pick up some of that green as well and it's going to add to the colour which is lovely just adds a bit more to it okay I think that's enough a little bit green down there so on so hopefully you can see that in the video I'm just gonna pull this and put the brush down now I'm just gonna clean this brush and just squeeze it in a bit of tissue paper to get most of the excess color off and this is a, a two inch brush a bit more tissue and squeeze it between there and then I'm gonna use the, the top edge the top edge of the bristles and I do little C movements and I'm just gonna very lightly just blend this in a little bit very softly in this okay so I just blend it 
And what I'm going to do is, while I've got this, I'm going to use the brush and pull it down to the shape. So the movement is all coming down this way. So while I've got this brush, so that goes, this bit goes round, and this part of it, I'm just going to use those bristles, not all of it, and I'm just going to literally pull this down like so. Like that. So I'm just literally pulling down, and I'm just going to touch this, and pull everything just lightly, just down like so. Leaving this that nice top dark edge. I'm just very lightly, I'm just pulling everything down this way. So it's got a nice bit of green in there. It's going to add to it. Okay, so it comes like that. And so I've started doing like the curl on this rising back. Now, put a brush down. I'm going to go into my fan brush. And I'm just going to make sure I wipe my fan brush, get the, any blue that's on there off. And then I'm going to go back into the white, put it one way and the other way, load the brush up really well. And then I'm just going to pull over the top of this is where the wave is rolling over. So I'm going to use that as a guide. So I'm literally going to touch this, I'm going to touch, pull, over. Okay. Then I'm going to load my brush again, do it again, and I'm just going to follow the shape, the line, like so, and then this comes up here, like so. I mean, you can go over it a few times if you need to, um, so it just gets that roll of the wave. Right. I'm going to go over it a couple more times, just to get a bit more colour on there. I'm going to have some, I'm going to have this splashing up here anyway, so it's, this is going to splash up. Uh, I'm going to come down to roughly the bottom of this part here. So I'm just going to take this down to about there. Roughly. So you can see that that's roll. And again, I will put some more colour and bits and pieces on top right now. With the line of brush, go back into this light white mix and then very lightly just touch this and wiggle it again and at the top of this roll as I call it you can just add a few of these little bits on top of there so it looks like the movement okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the foam uh, around here and then we're going to have the foam coming up so I'm going to use fill the brush again and I'm going to get a little bit of blue and black and a little bit of the lizard and crimson it's going to make like a purpley colour so a bit of red or you could just use red and I'm just going to pull out a bit of white as well just to lighten it so yeah that's nice just so you can see it we need to see it, and obviously it needs to be dark enough uh, to put light over. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to press up, okay, little circle movements here. So I'm just going to press up a little tiny circular movements. And again, keep it sort of random. Don't don't ever make it a little bit darker. I think just yeah, so you you can see that more just like here. Not too big, following the circular part of it. And again, I'm, I'm swirling this around, I'm, I'm not keeping it all straight. You know, there's some big, and I'm just keeping it at the base of our roll. Okay, load up a bit more, swirl this around, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to swirl this right up here. I'm going to actually take it right up over the horizon line and back down again. So out to the side there and back down here. As if it's splashing over something. I might even put a rock or something over this side. So I'll just swirl this around. It's lovely. So I've got a nice bit of 
dark because you need the dark to show the light on top okay I know you can't probably see this too well this looks pretty similar to that but it is slightly darker now I'm going to clean the filbert brush and I'll put it in a little bit of a odorless thinner and just wipe that because I'm going to try and get rid of most of that blue just wiping that off squeezing that out uh, use a bit of a towel again to remove the excess paint there we are okay now now we've got our dark underneath we're going to go with the light so I'm going to go straight into some white, pure white, put it one way, the other way, really load the brush up well, put it one way, pushing quite hard so you can see the brush is really loaded. And this time I'm just going to do little tiny movements as if my hand's shaky. So literally I'm just going to now don't go right to the base, do it more on the top, okay, top edge. I'm going to load my brush again, just top edge. Okay, I'm just moving my brush randomly, just sort of pushing it up. And what it's doing is it's creating these nice little marks on there. And as I come up here, I'm going to press in upwards like so. Like nice little movements, okay, like this nice movements turn the brush around so you've got this flakiness coming out and I'm going to wipe my brush again squeeze the tissue go back into some more white so what I'm doing I'm just literally just going pressing up very lightly but I've got the, the actual brush is quite an angle so I'm pressing upwards and as I'm pressing upwards some of this lovely colour is coming off okay so now I've got this covered I'll go back into my two inch brush and again very lightly like we did the clouds I'm just gonna very lightly using the top edge do little C movements so blend the bottom of the white into the blue very very lightly though I don't want to kill it off completely I'm just trying to soften this edge down just soften this down and this is where a lot of a lot of my students they panic because they think they're going to lose it but if you push very lightly it will fade and become very misty okay I'm just hardly touching, but I'm trying to create soft because this is foam, and if you press lightly, this will create beautiful foam effect, and you won't lose it all. Now again, you can go over as many times as you want, but I want this to be nice foam pushing up there. So I think that's nice. Now I'll quite happy with that. Again, if you wanted to, you could get the brush again, load it up, push it one way and the other way through the white, and you would just do a few more of these if you wanted to add a bit more action or movement, I'd say to it. I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here is I'm going to create another one of these waves in here which means when then we can pull back into this one and um, which means this one comes alive again so you can use the fan brush or the filbert brush I'm going to use a filbert brush because we've got the filbert brush on my hand but I'm really going to load it up and again I'm going to think about where this is coming so let's have it one here something like this so up it's going to come down wiggle it around and off something like that it's going to come off. We can have that coming up there. Something like that. Yep. Good. All right. I'm going to use my, I'm going to get my, my fan brush now. 
I'm going to go over it and want some more. I'm just going to put some more white on my palette. Run out of white. Always run out of white. You always seem, whatever, whatever you do, you always seem to run out of white. So I'm going to pour some more white. And again, I just want to make this thicker by using more white on here. Because we're going to do exactly the same principle. And we're going to be moving everything backwards. And with it on there, it's easier to do. So, the movement is, if you remember, we're just all moving this back this way very lightly underneath here I'm just trying to get this top edge out so I'm just pulling this up like so so it's got nice, it's nice green in there, and again it will become darker into the blue as it comes up. Again, I'm just putting this straight up. It comes down into this. Don't lose too much of the dark. But I'm just literally just taking this backwards, like so. Here, just carry it along. I'm a sort of funny angle to this <laughs> where we're painting, but your, yours will be easier when you do yours. But I'm just doing it like this for demonstration, just to help you guys do a nice, simple, easy seascape picture. So, once I've pushed all up, I'm just going to very lightly pull down so some of the green mixes in with the blue. I don't want to kill all this dark. Well, I just want to keep it all going the same way as if this is pulling down and coming around. So I'm just going to take some of this very lightly down here. Pull this across and take that out of there. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, that's nice. I can do that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now with this one, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna make this one stand out again. This edge part by using my liner brush and going back into some white like I did before. Twist it around, and then on this edge, we can really move this around. Like so. And while I've got this, I'm going to go into here, thin it more, much more, really thin it out. Because uh, I'm going to just do a few little lines coming down, like I said, that you would get. Sometimes you get the, like these lightning strikes. I'm just going to add a, a little bit up there. And then you do get a few of these lines coming down here and out. And again, they're all they're all different and random. So you know, don't think there's a certain particular way to go. They just really look like lightning. All I can describe is is lightning strikes and so on. But they do obviously they do follow. Wipe that off. That's a bit too much. They do follow the actual movement of the wave. Do get a few in here. And I'm going to rock this backwards and forwards like we did with the fan brush. You do get a few light, some bright white areas where the water is all pockets of water coming in and as it's running backwards you see some of this nice 
wet areas of water. I've got a couple of lines here. Again, you know, don't, you don't have to get carried away. Just a few of these. It just all uh, all this movement just adds more to it. Okay, I think what we'll do, we'll put in a, a couple of rocks and, and, and so on, and then we can carry on doing this bit at the bottom here. So, I'll grab, yeah, I think I'll just clean this off, my filbert brush, I think I'll do it with a filbert brush. Just put it in with a filbert brush. Just pull that out. I'll get some bare dot brown dark sienna. I'll mix those together on the filbert brush and uh, I'll just yeah, we're we coming down Ellie something like so so a bit of dark I'll put a bit of dark black in with that as well I think a bit of black some darks just so we darken this off I'm just wiggling this around I'm not too fussed um, the beauty is I'll make this a bit darker Oh, we're coming around here, something like that. So, so I'm going to get some black or some brown, and I'm just going to put that over the top, just literally just pressing down here and there, so it mingles in with the light, so it automatically creates shadows. And I'll put it dark at the bottom here, okay? So, a bit of rock coming out there. Put one there, and I think I think we'll put a rock in here as well and then we can have the water going around the rock so a bit of, bit of black and the two browns and I think what we do is we do one here and we'll put something there coming out of there small brown something like so and go over the top so obviously if you, I'm going over the light so sometimes it doesn't stick so you might have to go over it a few times for it to, to work. So I have that right way down and want to have it like this, go all the way down with it. Okay, and I'll go into some black, just add some bits of black here and there, just as some shadow. And um, what I tend to do also is I'm just going to squeeze that some tissue paper. Now a, a simple and easy way of creating more, you know, more realistic rocks is to get a little bit of the, the red, okay, and just here and there, hold the brush. Show you hold the brush between the two fingers, and very lightly, just here and there, just let it pull down in a few areas. You can just create these sort of rock areas, the jagged bits that are sticking out over here. And because this is red um, and it's on with the, the browns, it just picks up a little bit of the light when you look at it here and there. But it really does make it look much more realistic and you haven't really done a lot so when someone looks at it they automatically think oh that looks like a nice rock and you really haven't done a lot with it so I'm just going to put some red on there and then I might pull it down this way and then maybe pull it across that way and down so I pull it down one way and across so as if it creates little ledges and so on in the rock in the rock face that's what we want to, when you look at different angles, so it stands out. So, with that said, I'll pull that out. And I'll go back into my fan brush. And I'm just going to wipe my fan brush quickly. Squeeze that out. And what we can do now is go back into some more white. And we can put another wave coming in here like I said 
is in a minute we'll put some water coming around there but we're just going to put I think we just put a little wave coming up there and then I'll carry the wave around here and obviously around this part here you're going to have splashes coming up you know around the rocks but we'll do all that in a second first thing is just to get this line in and then we're going to do the same rocking it backwards like we did before so it's just backwards like so taking this back up here and this is going to be coming down like so So I'll put some splashes around there and again I'll put make this highlight and again this here just very lightly this is just going to be blue very soft and just by using no paint on the brush little rocking movements like we did up there you're going to do the same down the bottom here now this one is going to be going back down so okay now once we've done those parts here yeah so this coming down like so so it's all, I'm pulling it down the way that the wave would form is I'm just going to splash some of this up around the base and again you can use the liner brush or you could use this so I'm just going to use the corner of this and as it comes around here obviously it's just going to splash around and come around here all right and I'm going to do the same here just going to splash this up around just around the edge around as if it's splashing against there now you can again use the corner and get a bit more and you could just drizzle a little bit of water down some of these as if it's splashed up and it's splashing down the sides of the rocks. Okay, you don't want too much. Same with here, you know, I'm going to have some water coming around down here. Alright, go back into some white. Like so on. So it's as if the water's splashing over here and coming down like so. Where it's splashed over here you could press upwards pushing up like so like that I'm just pressing the bristles like that and it's if it's splashing up some more white so we do a big big like so but it's just splashed at this part here Okay, so that's it. And then I'm just going to get my liner brush again and just get some thin white, spin this around and get some thin white and just here and there make this one stand out a little bit more so it pops a bit more. And it's nice when you do this, you go splash and splish, <laughs> all adds to the fun. So there's any other bits you see when, when you're doing it, obviously you can add a few little dots here and there if you want to just to get carried away more foam. But I think guys that's a completed picture. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a very simple seascape. It's very effective and I'd love you to have a try and send me your pictures, send me comments below and messages and I'll try and answer all the questions um, you know when I get round to it but I will answer all the questions if you just comment below thank you guys so that's Mark Terrell for Paint With Mark signing off and I, I do hope you've enjoyed this picture today and I do hope that you give it a go thank you